Hello everyone and welcome back to another Forest Schools episode. Today I'll be talking about the history of ancient tools. I'll be starting with Stone Age and ending with Bronze Age. I hope you enjoy. First, I must take you back to when man first discovered using tools, about 2.6 million years ago, where cavemen started using sharp stones to cut meat and blunt rocks to break nuts. 1.76 million years ago, the humans started inventing hand axes, and these are still very primitive tools. However, with the growth of our brains, each generation got smarter, creating new tools. Mapping started 200,000 years ago. This is where you would craft sharp stones to make spearheads or awls. Awls are where you use sharp stones to cut fibres or prep heights. The use of antler, bone and ivory marked the later stages of the Stone Age. This is where they use these materials to craft the heads of arrows, spears or the handles of weapons and tools. The development of napping and the use of bone spread to other countries, each with their own little style, with some bone harpoons and some needles made for sewing. Some people say that the control of fire happened over 300,000 years ago. And some other people say it happened over a million years ago. But that's not what's important here. What they care about is what they did with it. See, fire wasn't just a heating or a cooking tool. It helped them explore caves and up into the mountains. And it helped them colonize where we live today. Now, fire is one of the best things that was ever discovered. It changed life as we know it. But not just for the Homo sapiens, for the Neanderthals as well. A cave in Israel suggests that Neanderthals and Homo sapiens spent quite a lot of time together, mainly fighting, but sometimes reproducing. These caves show that they gathered around campfires not just for heat, but for protection from predators. They shared things like experiences and technology. The Bronze Age is the next significant advancement in human technology. In 3000 BC it started in Greece, and 1,600 BC in China and the British Isles. The Bronze Age brought quicker building, better farming and better fighting. In the Bronze Age they also created the wheel and writing, meaning they can travel great distances and record things that they find along the way. 1200 BC brought around the Iron Age. However, iron was not discovered here, it was discovered before in the Bronze Age, where the people of the Bronze Age thought it was an inferior material and just continued using bronze. However, the Chinese did not. As China had already had years and years of working with pottery and kilns, they managed to get the idea of iron fairly quickly. They started mass producing weapons like crossbow bolts and swords, changing warfare forever. Now, you must be wondering what the Iron Age Celts are doing. Well, what we're doing is we're setting up Iron Age forts. Now, these can be seen all over the UK as really defensible positions to protect themselves from other clans and invaders. Now, you must be wondering what this has got to do with forest schools. Well, in your forest school session, you can show them some napping skills, maybe some ancient tools, or even the raw materials they used. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.